beautiful drive here. Oh my god. So I just wanted to come here. And now there's another person who's decided to come this way at the same time as me. Which is in a way because there was nobody here. And now fucking somebody else. I don't know why I get so much anxiety from just going here. River. Just wanted to look and show y'all it. So this is it. Sitting on this little boardwalk way. It's peaceful and quiet. The actu actually, the girl that was here is just an older woman with two dogs. So there's like fish jumping over there, big ones. Like probably 12 inch fish I don't think it'll jump again but that was pretty crazy you guys to drive here because it's just so beautiful all right do you guys see this such a beautiful and peaceful drive I'm gonna come here Tuesday with my dog Zeus because he has his appointment on Tuesday for his nails so I'm just gonna also bring him here to play and just have some fun because it's been a while since I've you know came here with the dogs I only came here with the dogs once actually once or twice I believe at least I know once, but maybe a, a second time, but... And they had fun, I actually bought both of them here. Y'all see how beautiful this is? This is like, to die for. It's just so gorgeous. Wow. Oh, hello there. I saw one of those birds in my backyard once. That was very loud and scary. I think they're actually putting sidewalks in our neighborhood, which would be really great because we have like zero sidewalks. Literally zero sidewalks. Okay, that made a very scary sound. Yeah, they're like, Ooh, it's so cute. Yeah, and they come out and they look and make sure everything is good. And <laughs> it cost him $20,000 to get set up. And every year, he doesn't. And like a pet him and they roll over and stuff. And then one of them was feeling good and had to have medicine. Aww. And so then it all over here now. We're going to catch it. Oh, yeah. So, and you can buy a big, huge 25 pound bag of carrots for like seven bucks. <laughs> yeah. But they don't taste the same. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It, all, it all tastes different. Look at this. Oh, hi there. Well, hello there. Oh, I need a goat so bad, you guys. <gasps> She's such a cutie pie. <gasps> Who's such a pretty goat? Who's such a pretty goat? Who's a pretty goat? Who's a pretty goat? You're the prettiest of them all. Look how cute they are. Yes, well, hello there. Well, hello. Come here, goat. Oh. You can put water in it and make manure tea. Wow, try. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so cute. You're 
just the sweetest though. You sweetest. Say hi. Are you so cute? Oh, you're so precious. You guys, tell me at the gym right now. Nobody's here. But me. Jamming, jamming it up. So I heard something weird outside. It sounded like some car was screeching its tires. But I washed my ass in the gym. Luckily, nobody can get in here. You have to have a key to get in here. So that's good. I'm about to just do the treadmill. Usually, I always do this machine right here. Just because it's like funner for me. I enjoy it more than this thing. But yeah. Hey guys, so I want to give you like a quick fish update just because I moved some things around, changed some things around in my room to where I feel it's more better suited this way as you can see I emptied this tank this tank housed um my mini blue lobster in there temporarily and it also housed four guppies and some snails emptied it almost all out I just need to empty the sand in here oops it's so weird and then there's the black sand so I just need to wash it empty the black sand and then just store it away neatly probably it'll go in my closet just because i don't want it to break i do want to use this tank again in the future but i think i feel like for right now i don't need it i feel like it's just taking up space and the fish that i had in there didn't really need to be in there so i moved, moved all the fish out and put them in my 29 gallon which this is what it's looking like i took out most of the decor because i felt like it just looks better like this and I wanted more swimming room for this guy so he can have more uh, space to swim around and do his thing and I put in my four grommies in here or my four grommies sorry my four guppies in here and then my one grommie also that was in the other tank is in here as well and then my um, lobster fish somewhere in here oh he's over there actually in the corner I can see him but yeah and I just put back the little cave so that he can hide in there if he needs to and yeah it's very minimal minimal in here just because i feel like it's better this way and i also have some life plants in here i need to plant that back in again a little bit better but yeah very minimal and all that good stuff and then over here is where that shrimp tank where this aquarium used to be over here it's not here no more but obviously emptied it and I just, it looks much better. I also have more desk space. I have to um, clean that aquarium soon. By the way, guys, my um, the more Blenny I had in there passed away. I guess he jumped out of my aquarium. I found him underneath down there, which I didn't have the lid on properly, which is my fault. It sucks. I just, I just feel like I just want to give up with, with an, saltwater aquariums, guys. They're just so much work. It's because I rushed into it. That's why. So gonna just start from scratch eventually but yeah so I'm watching giving up with the Kardashians <laughs> but uh yeah so just gotta rinse that tomorrow hi Zeus and yeah so now I just have this tank in here and my saltwater aquarium hey guys so I wanted to show you the chickens area this is where they stay during the day it's kind of like call it like a little daycare center it's just where they stay during the day and then at night they sleep in here which I need to clean that out. I just finished cleaning this area up for them. I'll show you what it is. It's just an old dog cage that we no longer use. That is just like a little area for them with some sand bed or whatever you call it. I can't think of the name right now. But that's where um, they can, you know, scratch and play around in. And the rest over here is just some tile. And then I put two sticks for them to roost up there. They like to chill on there during the day and just hang out, which is really nice. And then this is their water bottle or water dish, whatever. I put it on top of this, um, inside the water dish here because just so that the water doesn't spill everywhere because it was spilling everywhere last time. So hopefully this will keep it clean and nice and they'll still be able to fit their beaks in there. So that's good. And they do have a food dish, which... It's not in here right now. I have to clean it out because they already ate. So now it's just time to put them in here. This is their bin. That I'm going to have to clean out. Come on. You're okay. Oh. They are so big, you guys. 
they cry without each other. It's kind of crazy. They're so cute. And then this just locks up for extra precaution, you know, better safe than sorry. But this is where they hang out during the day, and it's nice. You know, they can just chill over here, hang on the roost there. Ugh, I feel so sweaty and gross. This is their area that I need to clean out. This is for, this is where they sleep in at night because it's kind of cold in this room. They're just in this room that we haven't finished. It's been almost a fucking year. Part of my French, but anyways, um, they're just they sleep in here at night, which is in my room, uh, or not my room, in the main house over there by the like kind of by the kitchenish area. They stay in here. It keeps them nice and warm and cool. Maybe once they get a little older and they have more feathers, they could stay in here. Or maybe another week or two, they'll be able to join the other chickens out there. You guys ready? We're going to make him B-A-R-K on command. Let's see how he does. Is this ready? Bark. Bark. Ooh, he's a tough guy. Can you bow? Ooh, you're such a tough guy. Ooh, you're such a good boy. You guys, you want to see a doggy ASMR? What do you think? What do you think, Zeus? Should we do a dog ASMR? You've got the perfect face for it. Guys, he's breathing like this because he was just running outside like crazy. Huh. Are you a little bit crazy or what? He's like, mm, just a little bit. Are you slightly crazy or very crazy? It's a good boy. He's such a good boy. <laughs> I think I mentioned that my lawnmower blenny jumped out. Um, half of the fish tank water evaporated from like all the way to here. And then I think it freaked him out so he jumped out and half of my lid was like pulled apart so there was space for him to jump out. And I found him dried up under my table over there which was so sad. <sighs> Breaks my heart because he was a very good fish, you know? but. Now all I have left here is just my snail and my hermit crab, which honestly, is fine. I'm not gonna stress myself out anymore with saltwater fish. Like, I want to get some more, but not right now. It's, it's not a good time. It's just, it's, it's a lot of work. It requires a lot of time. And up there is my hermit crab on the left and my snail there. They're moving a lot in here since they don't have any fish or anything to bother them. So they're just out and about. I should probably get that hermit crab down while he's been there for a good few minutes. How he got up there, honestly, I don't know unless he hitched a ride on my snail's back. Which could be, but I don't know. And then my other uh, small snail is back there too. I don't know what that weird rope thing is. Could, could have been a dried up warm or something of the sort but yeah that's it for this tank it's fine I'm gonna leave it be i'm gonna change the water hopefully soon but that's that for this tank so yeah it's been a very very long day you guys like a very long day very productive long days which is nice but just want to say goodbye you guys and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye